Hello floss tube friends, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. I am here for my end of June update. This video and day is going to be, well it's a big mess because first of all, um, I'm having issues updating uh, or uploading my um, Christmas whip parade for Christmas in July. I spent over two hours editing it earlier this morning and I keep getting the error every time I try to save it to my video so I can upload it to um, so I can upload it to YouTube. I keep getting the error message that it can't save because there isn't enough space available, which is not true because I've checked my settings. Uh, my iPad holds 128 gigabytes. I've used 40, so there's still 80 available. Um, and it will even say that there in the settings. So there, there's no way that this video could be 80 gigabytes. Like, the app, the iMovies app, isn't even 80 gigabytes on the iPad, so how could this video file be? But no, I keep getting the error. I've tried uploading it on every video quality setting from, you know, HD. I prefer to upload these videos on HD. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, all the way down to the worst quality. And I get the error back every single time. I, I deleted the iMovies app. And I re-downloaded it to see if that would fix the issue. Naturally, that's when I decided to call Apple support. And so when I talked to the person, uh, the video wasn't in there. So I tried with just the base unedited video while on the phone with her. And, um, and, it, and it worked naturally. But then I hang up with her to try it after editing it for what was at that point the third time and um it's not working again I am now attempting to download the video clip um from the iCloud onto my phone so I could hopefully edit it on my phone and get it uploaded but if that doesn't work it's going up un unedited which sucks because I put a lot of work into putting those pictures in there. I mean, I went through it multiple times, so it's just really frustrating. And at this point, I have now spent approximately 9 to 10 hours on this, which means I have not started or done any of the things I plan to do, um, which is just really annoying because I had such great plans to have a great start to... Um, Christmas in July and that's not happening so <sighs> it's not even showing a progression at all from downloading from iCloud so at this point I'm not even sure that this is gonna work um I tried airdropping it to my phone from iMovies because my phone has a larger capacity than the iPad that didn't work um if anyone has any ideas tell me below because this might happen again and I would love to know what I can do um but you guys didn't come here to hear me complain this is supposed to be the end of July update so that I could start <laughs> the end of June update so I could start July off on a fresh foot um so I will do that. Um, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm not going to put in before pictures because I'm just trying to get this up there. Um, so, sorry about that. I do want to try to continue to edit my videos. Um, just maybe figure out if any Apple stores are open so that I could take it in for support or something because clearly it it's still not working and the thing that's also annoying is when I plug it into my computer it will show me a completely different storage amount than what 
the device itself is showing. It it tells me on the computer that I've only got 13 gigabytes free, which is also, I don't believe, accurate, even though that's what it is acting like right now, because I went through and I've deleted every single video clip, every floss tube I'd left on the iPad, I've restarted it multiple times, I've done everything that's possible to try to get this to work. And so there is no way that I have 128-ish gigabytes of stuff on my iPad. It's just, it's not possible. So I'm really frustrated um, to tell you the truth. So sorry for the bad attitude. But, okay, let's try to um, get some positivity, and I will do updates for you guys. Now, I did not finish the dogs. Um, you know, for supposedly focusing on finishes in June, I didn't get any finishes. So, shocker, I'm sure, if you're not new to my channel. I did make some good progress. I've got about 1,200 stitches left, so just everything that's in this area right here. Um, I mean, if I were to buckle down and just work on it, I could get it done, but ugh, I'm burnt out again on the dogs. Um, let me put the pattern back on it so I don't lose the pattern. Okay, so that's the update on the dogs. Um, let's see. I did about 250-ish stitches on the July Cottage. I also have the camera on the opposite side as normal, so this is going to be confusing to me too. Like, like I said, today is just a mess. July Cottage, Cottage of the Month. And what I did was the roof. And I really like how that roof looks. The slight variegation in it is really nice in my opinion. So I'm super pleased with how the July Cottage is coming along. Um, next we have up One Nation by Bygone Stitches. So, I finished the first line of red on the flag. So, there we go. I think I was at the end of Pennsylvania last update, but I managed to finish it. So, I put in over 600 stitches, nearly 700 I believe. So I am super pleased with this project and if I wasn't doing Christmas in July, maybe next year I'll do Patriotic July, I would put in some good time on this. I mean a Patriotic July could be fun. I've got like four projects so I could do like one a week. July Cottage, this uh, One Nation, the presidents from Clouds Factory, and Lady of the Flag. So I could have a really awesome patriotic July. Um, I've thought, <laughs> okay, this is a joke, but I'll say it anyways. I thought I could turn my channel into like an ASMR cross stitch channel, just like. Do any of you guys watch ASMR? I love it, to be honest. I, I like the ones that, um, there's this one that does like history or science. And I don't even like science, but he does astronomy. And I think astronomy is different than science. <laughs> Which is stupid to say I know that, but um, I don't like like biology and chemistry. It's just my my brain doesn't work like that. But I really am fascinated by astronomy. 
Okay, my next one is Giant Harry Potter, which you may or may not recall I was restarting. So here is what I had gotten done on my first start of this, which I mean is a decent start. Um, but for many reasons that have been talked about many times on this channel, I did, I was not happy. Um, there was a slight dye lot issue with the blues, so I do have actually two different blues of the same shade. And I don't normally care about dye lot issues, but this one was pretty obvious. Um. Did it make me go out and buy all the floss so that I won't have to worry about that in the future? No, I am still working from a master set, but, you know. Here is my start. This is 32 Camp Vintage Country Mocha. It's not a huge start, but it's about 600 stitches. I'm pretty happy. Um. So, yeah. And I am doing this with Wendy and um, Erin from my Stitchy Quest group. And Erin told us she is going to be starting her own floss tube soon. And when she does, I will link you guys to her channel. Um, she's super awesome. So I'm really excited for her to start a channel did she call it Grumpy Moose? No, that's not right. Um, Krabby, Krabby something. Um, anyways, if I remember, I'll link you to her new Instagram below that she made for her floss tube channel, and you guys can go give her a follow. Um, Erin is super awesome. She does all the grading on my, uh, on my group and she's created this awesome spreadsheet and she's just super amazing. So, um, so yeah, so you guys should check her out. Um, I have one more cross stitch to share. And that is, I didn't post this on Instagram because uh, I'm just, uh, Instagram. I started the Castle Sampler from Teresa Wensler for Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch. Uh, Teresa Wensler Sampler Sal. I have barely over a hundred stitches in this. Um... So, this is what I've done. I started with the outside border, and I will be doing those. I'll be working from the outside to the inside. Um, so, that's where I'm at. And I don't know when this will get pulled out to work on again. Not during July. Um, so the one final thing I will say cross stitch, well, I guess I'll say two things cross stitch related in this video is a well on call with the Apple, um, support while, well, while well on hold, I worked a little bit on this one. So I did this. So I just have two more sides to do and then I will have this finished. So I could eke out this finish tonight while this is uploading. Um, I may or may not do that. It was not intended as one of my Christmas in July sales. I just hope to squeeze it in for a finish, but I haven't worked on Christmas in July yet today, so it may have to count. The other thing is I was supposed to start the pandemic, um, piece from Long Dog Samplers. And this, I'm going to be using a 22 count Hardanger 1 over 1 with this thread. Um, I, I have more of it. Um, so, 
this will be started today and my goal for this one is to work for like third I'm thinking what I might do is pick a book um I'm thinking a way of kings from Brandon Sanderson where their chapters are kind of chunky and I'll listen to one chapter a day and while listening to it I will work on pandemic so um roughly 30 minutes of stitching a day on that so um that is my plans for pandemic that's all my cross stitching stuff except for Christmas in July which hopefully okay if this doesn't upload onto um like download from iCloud then I will be just um I'll just uh upload it without the editing so if it hasn't downloaded by the time I finish uploading this video then that's what I'm gonna do and I won't have any edits on it unfortunately but um I can't keep waiting forever for this one video um so yeah okay I do have a couple non um cross stitch updates so if you're not interested just click out here but guys I did not even come close to my second sock for my Slytherin sock um that is the first sock, and I still have to insert the heel. I haven't even finished the cuff yet on the second one. Um, I do think I uh, my carpal tunnel is flaring up, um, and I think it's probably from knitting more than stitching, um, and also from playing games on my iPad. So I haven't really. Um, so when I've been taking the dogs out in the morning. I've been playing a uh, Disney Kingdoms on my iPad and also this other game called Township. And so um the way I rest it on my hand, I think is what has messed up my hand. Uh yesterday these two fingers were numb for about 12 hours. So um it's also possibly how I hold my um the needles. I rest a lot or like I loop my little finger around to hold it in place and so I think that puts a lot of pressure there so um that's part of why I haven't done it as much I'm thinking I need to not play the iPad games like that in the morning and just work on the knitting and then I can play the uh, iPad game when it's resting on a surface um which it isn't outside it's just in my hand so I'm hoping to finish that soon because I do want to cast on two different pairs of socks for my Christmas in July, which I talked about in my Christmas in July video, which may or may not ever appear on the YouTubes, but um, yeah. The next thing is I worked a little bit on the afghan for my husband's oldest granddaughter you do not belong in there um yeah for Brie and this is a rainbow cake um and so I worked a little bit on that so an um I did reach another color change knot, so a bit more of the orange is coming in. And I am just really loving this. Um, there are a few too many half double crochets in my opinion, but that is just me. I am not a fan of the half double crochet. I also do not like the back post half double crochet. That's just a nightmare and a nightmare. So. <laughs> Um, I am happy with how this is coming along. However, I do need to work more diligently on it if the, it will be finished by Christmas. And my final update is a new knitting start that I started less than a week ago. And I have made, if I do say so myself, some awesome progress. So I talked about in my last update video 
the Stillness Mystery Knit Along, and I was asking you guys about skeins and colors, and so I did end up going with this color combination. Um, someone was, I think it was Long Dog Sampler, Long Dog Stitcher, was uh, saying she liked a different one. I did cake that up and put it next to each other and when one of them was caked up the color was just a little bit too different um, for what I was hoping to go with for this one which I I was actually leaning towards that kit so I am glad that I caked them to see them. It'll work beautifully in another three skein but I was hoping for something a bit more subtle um, and so that is the color combination however I am not sure that I am loving the one yarn um, this one is actually the color that's apparently going to get used the most according to yardage so maybe in future parts it'll blend a little bit better but I'm not loving it at the moment but that's okay so yeah I started this um, I think the first pattern got released at like 2 in the morning my time um, last Wednesday, headed into Thursday. So, and I was so tired, but then it got released and I was like, oh, I have to knit. And I stayed up. Well, okay, let's just put it this way. I watched two extended Lord of the Rings videos and one disc of the third so, uh, I made some real good progress. So, um, in this part, I'm not quite done, and I'm hoping maybe I can finish it before the next part releases. I have one more section of this down here to do now. But I am super pleased with um, my yarn overs that are like those... I have, this has definitely made me improve my pearl stitch, continental style, and the eyelets in this section is just coming along so beautifully, and I'm so happy with it. So, um, I'm hoping, well, I would say I'm, I hope to work on this while this uploads, but then I wouldn't be working on Christmas in July or pandemic, so... At this moment, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to be working on while this uploads, but um, we will see in that exact moment. Maybe I will decide to finish that one. I am right now in the uh, stitchy start debt, so I owe four finishes. So um, I talked about that in the other video. Um, we will see if that gets how that happens. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. Today has not been a great day, and it's not ever a good idea to film on a day when it's not a great day, right? But I just want to get this done so that my next videos will just be Christmas in July. So, um, sorry that this is not up to my usual standard of happiness, hopefully happiness. I don't know. Maybe I do complain a lot. I don't know. I don't know. But we will be back next time with another Christmas in July video. Well, not another one. It would be the first one. Except for the whip parade. So, hopefully. Um, when, uh, and, okay, so leave me your opinions down below also. Because I'm trying to decide if I want to do the vlog style like Dina does. And just try that out where every day I'll just film a little clip, but with my face this time, not like Mania's where I didn't use my face, um, with like showing where I start and then the next clip will just be me ending and then piecing those all together, but with the troubles with iMovies, that might not be a good idea. So, what is your guys' opinion? I'm probably going to call Apple support again tomorrow and see if we can get this fixed, so... That's all for now. I'm going to upload this and um, just try to get some things done that are in my plans for the day. Um, I still have to make dinner. I'm going to um, dice up a couple chicken breasts and cook those. 
and then put them with gnocchi and put like a pesto um maybe i wonder if i have some alfredo in the cupboard like a pesto alfredo with the gnocchi and diced chicken that's what i'm leaning towards for dinner i've never done that before and i'm not gonna follow a recipe i'm just gonna <laughs> kind of just like put things so wish me luck wish my husband luck because he has to eat it um <laughs> and that's all for now i will talk to you guys later bye